In 1978, Herman started a series all on his own. He drew and wrote the dystopic post-apocalyptic adventures of that young Jew Jeremiah and his friend Curdy Malloy. The setup is done pretty quick and without any speech bubbles or caption boxes. A very Hermannian segue into the story, but we get all the info we need. A second American civil war between the white and the black population led to almost total destruction of civilization and threw probably the whole world back into the status of a pre-industrialized, underdeveloped country with crime, self-justice and no safety for no one. It's the Wild West all over again, basically. And for us readers, it's pretty exciting to follow these adventures but for the protagonists in the story, it's neither easy nor fun. It's quite depressing to see that the premise of this scenario still doesn't seem to be so far-fetched. Rather up-to-date, unfortunately. America today, at least from a foreigner's perspective, seems to be torn, more than ever, between black and white between different political opinions, between the rich and the poor, as the world in general is torn between the egoism of those who have enough for a decent living and the need of those who haven't enough and commit the, in quotes, infamy to leave their homelands and to remind us of the injustice of our world today. I am an optimist most of the time, to be honest, but to think of the damage a possible President Trump could achieve in a world like ours is rather frightening. Or any other of these like-minded clowns all over here in Europe who have a strange appeal for the dark and egoistic part of their supporters. Okay, enough of that long-winded and rather depressing intro. You want to hear about some comics, I guess. So here are the first nine albums collected in three, in three volumes. Unfortunately, shrunken down smaller than the original album size, but still a lot bigger than the American comic book format. And with a big improvement in terms of the color reproduction values. At least if I compare it with my old soft cover of The Living Swamp. The old printing looks quite pale in comparison to the strong bright colors of the newer edition. In the first stories, Herman continues for a big part what he has done with Comanche. That uh, he has done uh, along with Greg. And now he works alone, as I said it. He tells sublimely, sublimely drawn, gripping adventures of precisely defined characters in a wild western scenery. The aforementioned post-apocalyptic setting is not much more but a pretense, a plot device. But this changes in the further run of Jeremiah significantly, and the tale um, gets more... Um, more the feel of a sci-fi story. Our heroes have to deal with a dictatorship of black people who imprison the white people. And later on he shows us the other side, the white racist group, group which calls itself survivors and hunts down the black ones. And again on the other side there's a black hunter which uh, with uh, some cheetahs as some murderous pets who hunts down white men. But there's always hope, nevertheless, because there are still peaceful people on both sides and the black and the white start to, negoti to negotiate. Of course, due to the help of our hero Jeremiah and his friends. But for this strange or strangely familiar bunch of religious fanatics, there's not much hope. Herman does a very bitter and uncomprom uncompromising take on religious fanatism. And again, this feels pretty up to date, unfortunately as well. 
So, Jeremiah is not the funny, colorful adventure comic just for teens, even though it looks bright, fun and beautiful. People die in each episode by a bullet, suffocated in a swamp or otherwise, but there's a specific sobriety in which these scenes are, pre uh, are presented. Most of the time, people die immediately. There's no melodrama to it. It just happens in a moment and it's irreversible. Irre irreversible. These scenes add a lot to the harsh realism of these stories and turn out to be much more grim and gritty than the beautiful, almost light-hearted artwork led you to believe in the beginning. And Herman's art, yeah, it's part-wise unreal, absolutely beautiful. I mean, you still have to get used to the very specific way Herman draws, draws faces, even though I absolutely like even that. But the way he draws landscape, sceneries, nature in general, atmosphere and whatever he likes to draw, it's just amazing. There are lots of panels that you could literally blow up to poster size and put them in a frame. Therefore, the colorist one, Fremont, can't be unmentioned. What he does with old school coloring techniques, with brushes and colored pencils, belong, belongs, uh, belongs part-wise to the best colorings of comics I know of. As I said it, these three books only contain the first nine albums. Herman recently published album number 34. So I hope they will continue this integral series with the German translations. So I can tell you more about Jer Jer <laughs> Jeremiah in a future panelogy. Thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.